Hello everyone, my name is Luchara, and this is End Zone. New uh, colony builder, city builder, coming out. Uh, this is their second episode, we're just playing through the tutorial level. Uh, this is our town as it is so far. This is all our little housing district. This is kind of like our industrial district. Got a couple farms, uh, cisterns for water storage, fishing dock. Uh, and one thing we're going to do, this is our forester's lodge. So right now they're set to, they cut down and reforest. I'm just going to cut down. Because I feel like I'm going to need this space to build buildings. So I'm going to set it to just cut down. And this is our school that's being built. So let's uh, turn it back on. Let our school be built here. And then I'm sure the tutorial will point us in the right direction. So we got to also assign a teacher once it's built. And I don't think we really have anybody that we can assign right now, unfortunately. So let's take a look here. We do not have any free settlers. So let's take off. Uh, where do we have more than one person? We have two farmers. Kind of need that. Water carrier. I feel like we need that. We don't need three builders. Let's go two builders. And let's put a teacher in. Perfect. Besides the fact that educated children work more effectively, we'll also teach them to be more careful with their protective clothing and tools. This, in turn, leads to them staying intact longer, and we can serve valuable resources. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Arthur. So that gave us, that rewarded us five new settlers. So now we can put some more people in. So first thing we want to do, so I want to have uh, another fisher for sure. Let's put the third builder back in. So we'll just leave it as is now. So we have three people. Actually, I'm going to add a second forester. So we have two free people right now. I'm sure Arthur's going to have a new quest for me here, though. Now that our population is starting to grow, we ought to again turn our attention to the topic of food production. We are already accumulating fish and tilling our fields. A gatherer's cabin will now enable us to gather mushrooms and berries from the forest nearby. Indeed it will, Arthur. All right. So gatherer's cabin. From the forest nearby. So we'll do that down here since this forest, we're trying to get rid of it. <laughs> so we'll put this, say, here. Yeah, it should work. All right, so let our builders come and finish that up. Probably get rid of this. How do I get rid of that? Activate, deactivate. Do I have to just make a new one? How do I move it? Change field of work. There we go. Perfect. So basically this is just anybody who isn't assigned to anything, they'll go and do this when they're free, when they have free time. Assign two settlers, gather. We can do that once it's done. It'll be Bobby Boot. So does everybody have a house? Do we have any? How do I tell? I'm just going to pause for a second. I want to tell. How do we tell if people are homeless or not? Average health. Average radiation. They are even temperedness right now. So we have four rich food, which is nice, I guess. We have four different types of food, which means we have rich food, I guess. Radiation, we got quite a bit of food and water stored up. Got some cloth, we got some metal. All right, let's look at the statistics here. How do we tell population living space? Okay, so we do have one, we do have four homeless settlers right now. We didn't for a while when we built those cabins. All right, that's what we wanted to know. So let's build another cabin or two here. Right next to the school. Prime real estate in the school district. All right, let's let her fly. So this symbol means this is full of water and that's fine. This one is not full yet. But it will be eventually. Oh, 
Why does it say it's running low? Doesn't this mean it can hold 90,000 and there's only 2,200 in it? Or am I misconstruing how that works? Anyway. Whatever. Alright, so let's assign some workers to the gatherer's cabin. We only have two. Now we don't have any free workers again. That's fine. So we're just going to have to wait for them to produce mushrooms and berries. So you're out. Well, okay, so why are you doing wood? Don't you... Have some, oh no, it's somebody out collecting scrap? No. Yes. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, very good. Great. Very good. As you can see, the gatherer's cabin is an effective possibility to get food quickly. But watch out. After a drought, it's going to take some yeah, time stupid before drought. plants have regrown. As is the case with most buildings, here too. Drought in this game is no joke. Area if you didn't time. watch my first video, there was a drought and literally this lake dried up. Like, there was, there was no lake. So that's why I added the second water storage. Because droughts are no joke. Although we are sufficiently supplied at the moment, our survival depends on diligent planning. If we can lay out a plan for an orchard, oh, an then we can start orchard. to fruit or nut trees that we can harvest after a few seasons. Well, that sounds That sounds good. Orchard. Let's make an orchard here, I guess. We have space. Nice big orchard. 10 by 13. I don't know. That might not even be big on the scale of orchards. Alright, so let's take away a builder and make them a farmer. Because we have two fields and one orchard, right? So, alright, so we got to pick a seed here. Um... Apple, berry, peach, pear, pecan, walnut. Of course, the only one we can actually do right now is plum. It says we got to send out expeditions to different locations to find more seeds. However, I do not know the how to do ex expeditions yet. It's probably not unlocked are yet. Already beginning to grow. Similar to crops for farming, trees need some time until they are fully grown. But once they have grown. They can be harvested again and again until they have to be newly planted. Yeah, orchard is a good long-term thing for sure. Oh, and this quest gives us 50 berries and three settlers. All right, so we got Our lots of settlers again. Our gatherer's cabin gathers food from the surrounding forests. However, there are any number of other plants there which we can use as well. These plants herbal can be hut, eh? by an herbal hut. The herbs gathered there can be consumed by settlers to replenish their health. Oh, right here, all herbal, herbal hut. Like, I'm scared, like, can I put this out here? Is it safe out here? Like, I don't know. I want to, I hope it is, but who knows? Let's put it here. What's going on here? Oh, we got homeless settlers again. So, you know what that means. Alright, so we're going to have to build some more here. We will put them here. Like this. I guess those settlers we got from that quest, right? So, we only have nine children right now. And old Melanie's going to be an adult soon. How's the school going? Children in class 2 of 10. 3 of 10. Educational training focus productivity. The better settlers are trained in productivity, the more efficiently they perform their work in different professions. Okay, that makes sense. Handling tools. The settler, better settlers are trained in handling tools. The longer they're able to use an image tool before it breaks. I think I'd like productivity better than that. Handling clothing. The better settlers are handling... Okay, Badges. The better sellers are trained to achieve badges, the more often they'll be awarded them for their accomplishments in the course of their lives. Okay, well, not knowing what badges are at this point, let's just stick with productivity for now, I think. Storage capacity in this building is running low. I don't understand what that means. You know what I mean? So why, why does that pop up for this one? 
It's at 2,500 of 90,000. This one's also at 2,500 of 90,000. Water tank. Oh, there's a water tank level. Oh, also oh, this number is my total between them. And this one's filled. Oh, so it can only actually hold 2,000. So why does it say 90,000 here? I guess that's as a colony, that's how many I can hold. But this individual one can only hold 2,000. Okay, that's fine. That makes sense. See the logic there now. Do I still have homeless shelters? Okay, I need to make a herbalist. I got 10 free settlers right now? Holy crap, when did that happen? Okay, so what else? Let's do another builder. That third builder back. So obviously we're gonna have uh gonna have some homeless people here, I would say. Yeah, we still got holy crap, we had ten. Still have six. So technically how many people can live in a cabin? Two adults and three children. So let's do let's do three. So I don't know. I'm gonna assume those homeless people are all adults. That may not be the case. But we're gonna assume. Worst case. And I mean we, this means we have them. We have them ready for when we need them, right? You out working, gathering herbs, I assume. So what does this symbol mean? I don't know. There's nobody working on this one. Let's move this one over here. Gather this scrap up. Because this scrap is going to be gathered by this thing. Okay, so what's going on here? Needs ruins. Okay, so that's what I was wondering. Like, all right, I'm just going to pause it. So if, okay, what's going on here? <laughs> storage capacity is building around. Okay, that's fine. So can I build storage building? Like, is there just a general storage building I can build? Um, yeah, so the scrap area collects scrap from ruins in a predefined zone, which is what this building is. It's like the Forester's Lodge, but the Forester's Lodge can regrow trees, right? This can't, you can't regrow scrap. So I guess I need to just build a new scrapyard further out. So I can get all this scrap out here, I guess. And then we'll get rid of this one. How do I destroy a building? Right here, demolish. Demolishing a building recovers some of the resources that were originally used for construction. So that's cool. So let's do that. What does this symbol mean again? Production limit is reached. Okay. We need to use some wood, I guess. That's fine. All right. Should probably take it off. Pause there, Looch, if you want to actually get stuff done. <laughs> so I'm actually going to sign an extra builder since we've got like four things to build right now. Why is this herbalist not gathering herbs? I mean, I'm assuming they are. I guess the question should be why are they doing it so slowly? All right, so they've cleared out all these trees. So let's... Uh, Let's move this over here. Sure. We need to be able to uh, domesticate these things. I'm sure you can, or, or hunt them at the very least. Well done. We can equally utilize the gathered herbs to convert them into medicine later on. It might happen that an illness breaks out in our settlement. It might happen. Time. In and video game terms, settlers. that means it 100% will happen. Ought to have enough herbs on hand. Always. Yep. What about spices? And then we can make some KFC. 
Radiation is the main reason why the health status of our settlers oh, increased. Although our settlers already use protective clothing to shield themselves against environmental radiation, it might occur that our sources of water oh, that would are contaminated. Be bad. We should start to filter our water to prevent this from happening. We will need a great deal of charcoal to accomplish okay. this. The charcoal hey, kills. This is perfect. Perfect timing because we got charcoal. all kinds of extra wood. All kinds of extra wood. Charcoal kiln. Uh, put it out by the wood, I guess. But it also wants to be near the water, doesn't it? So let's put it here. Here. Sure. I'm trying to like leave spaces for roads as well, but we'll see. Soil moisture. So this field is still not a good spot. <laughs> Oh, neither is this one all of a sudden. It's a, the orchard's in a good spot, though. Radiation. Where is the radiation? No radiation yet. Oh, some out here. Danger zone. What's going on right here? No, it's not much radiation yet. Oh, some out here. Oh, yeah, this... Man, this map is pretty big. Is this as big as it goes, or if we go out here, does it... Man, holy crap, there's a lot of stuff out here. Collapsed nuclear power plant. Should be a lot of radiation here. All right, well, where's our town? There's our lake. There's our town. Lucharaville. Sign settlers to coal burner. One... Homeless people again? How many homeless people do we have here? Holy crap, we got six homeless people right now? Yeah, how, did I lose cabins? How do you lose cabins? I don't understand. I didn't... Pretty sure I didn't lose any cabins. Or did I? Maybe I did. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to jam them all in. <laughs> Only six kids right now. Two of them are going to be adults soon. The other three are pretty young. So the old charcoal kiln's working. Early in production, too. Just waiting for that, for this quest to be done. Then old Arthur will uh, point us in the right direction, I'm sure. So this is slowly clearing out these trees, which is fine. Great. We can use the charcoal in conjunction with a filtration system to purify our water. Oh, only the water tower. Our okay. cistern is not able to do this. Only the water tower has the necessary equipment for this capability. Well, I guess we better build a water tower then, eh? Where is that? Logistics? No. Water. I'm probably underwater. Uh, is this not unlocked? I bet I need to hit OK first. It would be a disgrace if we had to demolish our trusted oh. cistern just to erect oh, a water we can tower upgrade in its them. place. What we ought to do instead okay. is upgrade the cistern itself. I agree, Arthur. A water tower can store much more water and provides workplaces for a lot more water carriers than our old cistern. Okay. Upgrade. Upgrade costs. 42 wood, 63 scrap, 12 bottles, which we have, but just barely. What is this, plastic? Yeah. Technically, we could make those in a refinery. I don't think we are. We have two refineries, don't we? Recyclers. This one's making cloth, which we have 32 of. And the other one... Oh, we have a workshop making metal. No, we're making metal tools. Taylor shop. Do we not have another... Okay, here it is. So this one's making metal. So we probably should make a third one that makes plastic, right? 
Oh, <laughs> it even tutorial even wants me to do that. So should we put it out here? Near the scrapyard? Put it here near town. Yeah, let's put it there. Yeah. So it wants to make wants us to do what we were already doing. So is this being upgraded? Yes. Okay. Upgraded bar. 40%. Beautiful. So we got lucky that we had enough plastic, I think. Or maybe it plans it out so you have enough. How are we doing for food? We got all kinds of food. Rich food. Got some new adults. What's going on here? Storage capacity is running out. Prove your infrastructure. I'm trying. But it's all locked. Like, I would love a temporary storeroom in a warehouse, but you won't let me. So we need the research station. Oh, expedition station. So that's how you get expeditions. Next, we need a third recycler. Where's recycler? Refiner. I feel like it should be called recycler. What do I know? Okay, so we got a water tower. Oh, yeah, that is a tower. We can hold 5,000 instead of 2,000. You put 10 people assigned to it instead of, I think, 5 for the cistern. Yeah. Do I not have any extra people around right now? I have 10. Why won't you let me assign more? Earn and maximum. So wait, what is this? Also oh, automatically automatically two I guess oh no this is total between it and the cistern right okay I guess oh why is my somebody die it says my adults went down all right so we need you to make plastic cloth this is the one that's making cloth yeah and this is making metal and I need to assign one more to be a water carrier. Our new water tower is up and ready for action. Good work. Filtering the water is an important next step because clean drinking water is a key mainstay of any stable society. So it says we don't have any coal. Where's that coal building? Here, this is the thing that's giving me coal, right? Okay, so it's making two. All right, so we have coal now. Does somebody have to bring it over? I need to assign somebody this. Let's begin with filtering oh. our water. Yeah. <laughs> to save on charcoal, we ought to ensure that at least a little bit of water, not contaminated by radiation, is being stored in our water tower. Water gained from a well is never contaminated by radiation. Oh, so we should probably so build a well. Suggest itself for that purpose. I guess. Then we can use the remaining Makes sense to me. To produce better protective clothing. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So I got to do I need to turn this on? Okay. But it says we're out of coal. I'm assuming somebody has to bring the coal over. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure how that works. All right, so they want me to build a well. Well keeper. Activate the filter. I already did that. Oh, there. 10 coal. Beautiful. It was waiting for somebody to bring it over. All right, so let's build a well. Little Timmy doesn't fall down. Well keeper. Power consumption. We don't have power, though, right now. I don't understand how this works. Put it right here. So they can just take it right over to the cistern. Or the, uh, and or the water tower. So once I get enough plastic, we're going to upgrade this one as well. We just don't have enough plastic right now. I like the diagonal view, but I don't like having buildings blocked by the water tower. How are we doing for homelessness right now? We're good. We got a lot of kids right now. Oh, and they're about to come adults. 
Maybe a couple more cabins here. For our new adults. One more cab. That should do it. That should be fine. Alright, so we need to make a well keeper. I believe it was called. Yep. Yeah. One one. Beautiful. Alright, well you know what? That's gonna be all for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be good to each other. And I'll see you in the next one.